Um, today I want to talk about pyramids and EMF protection and how these little cuties, <laughs> no, these little organite pyramids can help protect you from the harmful effects, stress-inducing effects of artificial, electronic, unnatural electromagnetic fields that are coming from devices, cell phones, the electric wiring of your homes, and Wi-Fi, and probably much more. So before, um, before I get into how they work, I just want to mention um, the type of atmosphere that humans have evolved in, and the atmosphere, the, the atmosphere in terms of frequencies that human beings thrive in. So, um, the Schumann resonances are considered the heartbeat of the Earth, and they occur, they're generated in the ionosphere. And in the ionosphere of the Earth, there are over a thousand lightning strikes per second, and that is generating an incredible amount of electricity. And um, the genius, the creative genius Nikolai Tesla um, had figured out, or yes, he had figured out, but he was prevented from bringing his creation to humanity, but he had figured out how to harness the energy from the ionosphere and um, to create free energy for the entire world for free. Um, however, uh, he was apparently a bit ahead of his time, and he was um, interrupted from that uh, task by uh, Thomas Edison, who figured out how to charge people money for something that is actually free. So, and we still live in that paradigm, by the way. Um, but I digress. In this electrical band, um, these, these Schumann resonances are transmitting frequencies to all organic and living beings um, in the world, on the earth. And they do things like um, it affects our melatonin, it affects our brain and nervous system, our cardiovascular system, our circadian rhythms, immune function, and our DNA. So in, in a life supportive way. In fact, they found out um, when they sent astronauts off into space that they didn't do so well when they got out of the Schumann resonances. And so they figured out that um, they needed to put uh, frequency generators um, that, were, that were generating the Schumann resonances in the spaceships. So, um, and this frequency is at 7.83 hertz. And it just so happens that this corresponds to the human uh, brainwave frequencies. And it, where it comes in is right between alpha and theta. It's actually in the theta range. Um, theta uh, pulsates at four to eight hertz, and it is actually a very um, relaxed state. Um, it's, it's generally a very pleasant state. It's the state that you enter just before you're entering deep sleep. And it's a state of meditation and trance. Alpha is also a relaxed state, but it's more alert, and that is from 8 to 12 hertz. So the Schumann resonance is right there at 7.83, so it's just at the very upper range of theta. Um, the beta range goes a bit faster, and that is the range of normal waking state consciousness. And beta is going from 12 to 30 hertz, um, with high beta being from 17 to 30 hertz. And the high beta range is associated with stress and anxiety and insomnia, fight or flight, irritability, etc. So take a look at take a look around you, right? Um, delta, and I'm obviously not going in order here, Delta is a deep sleep, zero to four hertz, um, deep dreamless sleep, and then on the, at the top, on the other side of beta is gamma, which is 3200 hertz. And 
Gamma is processing information simultaneously in the right and left hemisphere. And apparently, whales and dolphins are in gamma a lot. And humans are capable of gamma. It's, it's rare, and it is a very high state of consciousness. It's um, associated with, yeah, like um, transcendent super consciousness, um, very elevated states. So that's the groove that the humans like to be in, you know, the groove of Mother Earth. That's our frequency. However, um, what we find ourselves in today is quite a different situation um, because we are inundated. There's devices all around us um, that are generating these frequencies that are totally out of the frequency range of organic life. Um, and then just looking at cell phones, um, just those. Um, there was the 1G, that the first generation that was what gave us the cell phone, the 2G uh, enabled texting, the 3G internet access, the 4G enables you to stream a video, and 5G is even faster. However, 5G is going between 30 to 300 gigahertz. And in order to, um, in order to have a 5G network, they have to have like a tower, like because it's like they're millimeter waves and they have to have like towers like closer together and they're small. Um, evidently, it's a real DNA fryer. Um, it's, it's, not, um, it's not a happy situation for organic life forms. Below, I'm going to link peer-reviewed science and research papers on electromagnetic fields in general and also with cell phone and 5G research. So, you know, this begs the question, well, why aren't our governmental regu regulatory agencies protecting us? And um, that would be a good question. Um, for the consumer to be asking their representatives. And it's at the stage where people need to just educate themselves and stand up and request um, demand, I meant. It seems that the laws are more in line with the um, power companies than, and their profits than with the health of organic life. Because not only um, are humans affected by these frequencies, um, the birds don't do well, the bees, you know, nothing that's living. Um, so to get into some of the symptoms that you can experience if you've been exposed to this toxic pollution, um, this list is probably going to sound very familiar to a lot of us. And so common symptoms of just the stress like the atmosphere can either be supportive, the airwaves itself that we live in can either be supportive to organic life or it can be stressful to human life. And these super duper high frequencies, I mean, think about the Schumann is at 7.83. And with the 5G, we're talking 30 to 300 giga. <laughs> I mean, this is an environment for living, living forms. Anyway, some of the common symptoms that you might experience include fatigue, migraine, insomnia, irritability, brain fog, dizziness, vertigo, frequent illness, adrenal fatigue, and hormone balance, hormone imbalance. Some more serious issues include fertility problems, heat damage to cells, developmental problems, DNA fragmentation, Increased oxidative stress, behavioral issues, memory loss, hearing loss, neurotoxic effects, genotoxic effects, endocrine damage, and increased risk of brain and other cancers. And I got that list from reading some of these articles that I'm linking below. So this is not just like one airy-fairy person like coming up with this. This is, um, this is science. So what can you do? Well, move to the mountains, that's one thing. Um, get away from those towers, you know, that'll help. But we gotta live in the world, right? And we have to communicate. 
So um, there's workarounds. And this is where EMF protection comes in. And there's different types of EMF protection. So there's shields, which um, are based on a Faraday cage technology. And what this is, is a metal cage. Um, and it's usually, yeah, it's made of like lead or copper or a, a blend. And it's like a literal cage. And you can put one over your smart meter. Um, you can have a, if you, especially if you use your laptop on your lap, you can get a laptop shield because all that radiation is going right to your private parts if you hold your laptop on your lap. Um, if you're on your cell phone all day, which, you know, we all know the answer to that question, um, you can get a cell phone shield, so Faraday cage um, technology. You can get... Um, you can get a little blanket, wire blanket for your router, and they also have um, paint, um, that shielding paint, and you can paint your house. Um, but you evidently do not, you evidently do not want to paint um, the wall between your router and your computer. So um, other things, that there's uh, attenuators, which are these kind of little plug things, and you can plug in your electronics through those, and that is supposed to help throughout the entire house to attenuate or mitigate some of the um, EMF. And then the last and perhaps the most fun thing is you can get some pyramids, and, um, and you can wear a pendant, um, an EMF protection pendant. Um, so these pyramids are both made of what's called organite. And organite is um, metals, metal shavings and powdered crystals that have been compressed into in an epoxy resin. And as the crystals and the metals are compressed, they generate what's called the piezoelectric effect. And this is what makes them a generator. Also, just the shape of the pyramid has torsion field or generator effects. So when you, when you take organite and you put it into a pyramid shape, you get a double whammy. So they're really powerful. And these don't block EMF. They're not considered attenuators. These are considered neutralizers. So these are um, like air fresheners. They're like air purifiers because they generate negative ions. So they take an environment that is um, polluted with invisible pollution, and because of its vortex field dynamics and the piezoelectric effects that are pulsing out energy into its environment, they can purify or mitigate EMF. And so I have these two and I keep them by my computer. So when I'm working on my computer, I have these two there. Um, these big ones can also be used for your property, um, but you would need four and you create a grid around your property. And um, it creates kind of like a, kind of like a shield um, or a barrier. And it, it just creates a little beautiful window for your property. And these can also be used for chemtrail mit mitigation because chemtrails are full of heavy metals. So I'm gonna link both of these products below and I will link some of the other products that I mentioned, the shielding devices. And um, I hope you found this helpful. And um, if you have any comments, please leave those below. And I hope you have fun uh, with pyramids and um, finding ways to protect yourself and be an organic human um, in, this, in this world, in this world of awakening beings. So have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste.